Hello everyone, welcome to bspsolutions.com. I am VP CRM with BSP Solutions and in this video I am going to cover a new update which has been recently released by Salesforce Wave Analytics with the version 2017 and that's new update known as dataset recipe. So let's try to understand what do we mean by dataset recipe and how it can ease our data transformation work with wave analytics so a data set recipe is a kind of a saved set of transformation or steps which can be used to perform on a specific source data set or replication with the help of data set recipe we can run a recipe we can create a recipe we can apply transformations onto it and uh, whatever result we get we can create a new data set based on the resulted data set we can also schedule a recipe to run on a recurring basis to keep our data target data set up to date. By using a recipe, we can combine the data from different data sources. We can modify the field values, which, uh, which makes sure, which ensures us the consistency in the new data set, which we are going to create. We can also use data set recipe to create a new data set as a standalone data set for exploration or dashboard creation or we can use in our data flow or other recipes. So we have what is data set, we have what existing data set and by using by we can transform that existing data set by using data set recipe and we can save it as a target data set and that target data set can be used for further exploration which can include into other uh, for the recipes or for data visualization. So let's have a look how can we create our data, how can we set up a data set recipe in Wave Analytics. So for this you need to switch to data manager and before that we should have a data set already loaded into Wave. So as you can see here I have got a lot of data sets. So I'm going to use one of them for customization for transformation. So I click on data manager. So let me log in. Uh, this screen appears if we remain inactive for more than two hours. So then this kind of screen appears in front of us. So I have logged in and I switched to data manager now. And in data manager on the left side you can see we'll be getting prepare. So when I click on prepare it will take us to the data recipes interface. And this data recipes interface that is mentioned that it can clean, transform, and combine data from multiple sources. So in this case, I'm not going to compile any data set right now. I'm going to transform a data set. So I click on create recipe. And in this data, uh, I'm going to use sales underscore data for, for transformation. And data set recipe name, so I'll give as test recipe and continue. So it will load the data, it will load all the data from the existing data set. Now the transformation can be done. So as you can see here on the, if you look at, at the top, we have various steps for transformation. So the first step we have is to add a data. If you want to combine, if you want to perform data combination, we want to combine two data sets, we can use this option. This is for applying some filter. This is for adding a bucket, bucket in terms of we can add some exploration onto it. And this is for adding a formula column. So I'll do one by one. First of all, I want to apply a filter and I'm interested only in those who's uh, only for a product, only for a specific product, let's say pencil. So I filter data and select a field product equals to and it should be pencil. I'm interested only in pencil. So I copy this and apply a filter product on product column. I set as pencil filter rows and you can see it quickly filters. It quickly displays only those record whose product is pencil. Then uh, I click on add a formula column. So I would like to find out the 10% tax applicable on the price. So I click on formula and I write a formula here price price is a field multiply by 10 divided by 100 and click on create and we can give the computed field name so i'll say text 
apply or let's say text simple text and create formula field so quickly create a text field and the 10% of 452 is 45.2 now if we look for bucket so I click on bucket in bucket we can have values based on a range so let's suppose my requirement is uh, if the price is greater than 300 it or less greater than uh, 300 it would be marked as uh, it would be say high or else it would be it would be treated as low so I click on bucket and I said the range range one if it is 300 name this bucket as high else it would be marked as low and we can map null values too if any if any, if any of the data we have got null values then we can use and I say click created bucket so you can see because it is greater than 300 it is high yes I think some issue with the Sorry, I got that. Why it was showing error message? Why it is wrong? Because we are calculating this bucket on text. So I need to remove this, and uh, I don't want this to be used. So I just click on that and remove it. And now I would like to calculate the bucket on price. So I select price and then click on bucket. So range for price. So make sure that we have selected the correct column. And if the range is less than 300, it should be marked as low, else it would be marked as high. And create bucketed field. So now we have high, low, high, low, high. This is high above 300. This is less than up again high and low. So this is how we can create it. We can create bucketed field. So any bucketed field, if you want to remove, because we are not requiring this one. This one, this is on applic this was applicable on text. I was not requiring, so I can remove it from my uh, recipe. And once the transformation is done, once we are okay with transformation, we can click on create a data set with four applic uh, with four uh, filters we have applied, the computer and filter rows, and click on continue. So we can schedule this as well. So your recipe would be quick queue to run immediately or select whether you want to schedule it so th this would be if you want to run immediately only once and if you want to schedule it if we are using a huge amount of data and we would like to schedule it for that data as well we want this to be applicable on all that data all new updated data as well so we can schedule it and if I schedule it I can say it will schedule only every one hour offset or I say run once only and I say run data set recipe so we got a confirm message that the recipe has been run now let's go and find out whether the new data set has been created or not so I switched to data sets and in data set I found test recipe named as the recipe which we define and when I click on this and switch to values table we can see period product price range so filter is applied the bucket is there and the text column is there so this is a calc it's a formula column that's a bucket and we have applied the filter so that's the filter applicable on the data set so that's a new feature which has been recently added into salesforce wave 2017 for for doing this for doing data transformation we need to write we need to customize json previously or we need to use some third party tool for data transformation but now it has been incorporated into wave analytics so it would it it, beco it becomes easier to transform data as required so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit us our website www.bispsolutions.com you can write to us thanks for watching have a nice day